Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It's Marla, hopefully everyone is doing well. This video is going to be on five new things I recently got the past several weeks that I have been testing out and some that I've been enjoying and some that I've actually been wearing. Let's get started with this video, five new things that I picked up the past couple of weeks. The first thing that I picked up that I love, love, love for fall and winter, I love layering. I am a big believer in layering. So I will have a shirt under this, then a shirt on top of it, and then maybe another lightweight jacket on top of that. I absolutely love these plaid shirts that I have gotten. Typical plaid shirts, but such beautiful colors, uber soft, fit beautifully, kind of almost have a little bit of tapering down the sides. You know where I got these from? I got these from Bass Pro Shop. One of my favorite places to shop other than Target is Bass Pro. They have the nicest plaid shirts for women. Their plaid shirts are so soft and reasonably priced. I think this shirt that I'm wearing right now was somewhere around $28, definitely in the 20 range of pricing. They have such great colors. They have this beautiful color. I got one in red typical kind of red black plaid and I got one that has like a purple shade of plaid. Beautiful, beautiful plaid shirts for women. So I wanted to mention one of the new things I got that I've been loving are some plaid shirts from Bass Pro Shops. They have great kind of basic clothing pieces there that I can't even find like in Nordstrom and places like that. I really couldn't find a shirt like this in Nordstrom for the price. Love my new plaid shirts. Number two, the second new thing that I got recently was this really beautiful pearl and heart, very dainty necklace. I love this necklace because it doesn't have a typical clasp. The way you open and close it is just by looping it and then you take the little heart hoop here and in order to close it, you just loop it right back around so it doesn't have a typical little clasp on it. But I love dainty little necklaces and I love heart necklaces. I was recently visiting in Durango, Colorado and I went into this adorable little shop where the owners were jewelers and they made the most unique little pieces of jewelry. I will put the name of the shop right here. I think it's called Sticks and Stones or something like that. And they had so many very cool necklaces that were hearts and stars and and just, oh, just so many different things. And I like this one so much because I thought it was so dainty. I could really wear this every day. The other thing I liked about it was this necklace originally came to right about here, but because the jeweler who makes these actually works in there, he said to me, hey, just tell me where you want it to fall. I will adjust it and the necklace can fall at 15 inches, at 16 inches, at 17 inches. So he adjusted this necklace for me so it hit me right about here which is where I wanted it to. So I'm gonna give a plug for a shop in Durango where I purchased this necklace. I love when I'm visiting other places to go into kind of the local downtown area and Durango is a fabulous, cool, amazing downtown area. I actually like it better than Boulder's downtown. I love when I go visit different places and kind of go in and find kind of cool little shops where you have people making necklaces or scarves or, you know, something just that a local jeweler or a local craftsman would make and bring it back. And then every time I look at this necklace, I can remember my trip to Durango. That was the second piece that I purchased recently of the new items. Number three, this was something that I purchased recently based on so many YouTubers raving about it. I'm a little behind the times and I almost wish I would not have gotten sucked into this purchase. This is one of the Lancome Juicy Shakers. You know, the ones that you shake up and then you take the top off and then you have this little thing that you just dab all over your lips. I purchased this one in Melly Melon. That's sort of what Melly Melon looks like. It's just kind of a very, very light, light light, light gloss with a little bit of a very light kind of pink tone to it. I know a lot of people really like these. I guess I should have known that I wasn't going to like this because I don't like the YSL lip oils. The YSL lip oils bleed all around my mouth. They get into all the lines around my mouth. And the same thing happened with this Lancome Juicy Shaker. I'm not going to return it, but what I end up doing is if I find a lipstick that is super dry and I need 
need to kind of moisten it a little bit. I will use the shaker for that purpose. I don't like wearing these alone because the product just all migrates and bleeds all around my mouth and it makes my lips feel very oily. Just not a fan of the juicy shakers. That was probably one of the recent purchases that I made that I was just not really fond of. I wanted to mention because for me this was a thumbs down. The fourth new thing I got, I was recently looking in a magazine and saw this beautiful velvet jacket. It was purple. I think it was somewhere around the range of $130, $140, and they said it was very on trend. I happened to be looking on the Forever 21 website and I saw a jacket that was so similar to that coat that I had to purchase it. I just love the way it looked on the model. It looked like it was a beautifully fitted velvet jacket. It was a gorgeous color. It was well made and it was completely lined. So this is what it looks like on the Forever 21 website. I'll put all the details of the jacket in the description box under this video. You can see me grabbing the jacket in my closet. I'm trying to give you a good representation of what the jacket looks like. It has the same flap pockets right by the hips. It has one covered button at the waist and four covered buttons on the cuff. I think this jacket ran around $58. It fits like a glove. I just don't know if they have it in stock anymore. It is a beautiful jacket, perfect for the holidays. And finally, the fifth thing, or should I say group of things that I've been testing out the past couple weeks are from a company called Genuine Glow Skincare. Now, you may not be familiar with them. They're an indie brand. They were nominated 2017 Best New Indie Beauty Brand. And I saw their products on the Octoly website. I thought it'd be fun to test some out. And they were kind enough to send some to me. So let me start with the first set of products that I'm testing out, and this is their cleansing system. This system is supposed to allow the skin to detox and heal through the cleansing oil. The cleansing oil contains high levels of antioxidants along with fatty acids and vitamins A, C, and E. The aroma of all their products is sort of, I guess I would call more of an organic scent, not perfumey, doesn't have any sweet smell, um, kind of the scent you would get from some of your serums and oils. Very organic. Now I'm doing step two, which is their herbal fusion cleansing gel. The herbal cleansing gel is supposed to perfect the complexion by using a light foaming action. It contains two types of clay, three types of seaweed, and six botanicals that are absorbed topically into the skin to make it glow. It also is high in antioxidants, minerals, and vitamins. Since the skin absorbs about 60% of everything you put on it, I like the idea that these products are organic organic and plant-based. I also like that I'm giving my skin healthy doses of vitamins and nutrients to strengthen my complexion. This is their dual cleansing system. It is a detoxifying dual cleansing system and it's supposed to pull impurities from beneath the skin surface while at the same time depositing nutrients from two types of clay, three types of seaweed, and six botanicals onto the skin. It's supposed to be very helpful in giving the skin a healthy glow. This is good for all skin types. So I'm I'm currently testing out this cleansing system. Genuine Glow Skincare also sent me their liquid facial moisturizer. Now this moisturizer is designed to provide the skin with nutrients that are needed for glowing, healthy complexion. It is a natural free radical fighter and it's supposed to transform the skin, stimulate biological activity, and promote the growth of new skin tissue while at the same time working to keep existing cells healthy. This formula is designed to deliver a high amount of beta carotene, iron, calcium, antioxidants, and also additional vitamins to your complexion. And it doesn't leave the skin feeling greasy or looking shiny. Again, this product is suitable for sensitive skin and all skin types, and it won't clog pores. Finally, the third product I received from Genuine Glow Skincare is their exfoliating cleanser. 
I loved the look of this cleanser. It looked like something I wanted to dig into and use to exfoliate all the dead skin cells off my skin. This cleanser is made from vitamin C and also natural citrus. It's supposed to leave your complexion smooth, soft, even and bright. It contains lemon, rosehip, orange, grapefruit, and calendula. It is a foaming cleanser and it's designed to buff away dead skin. It also has a beneficial amount of naturally occurring glycolic acid, helps exfoliate and maintain the health of your skin. This formula helps to promote new tissue growth in addition to healing and calming the complexion by providing anti-inflammatory benefits through substantial amounts of antioxidants, vitamin A, C, and K, iron, potassium, calcium, calcium, and zinc. This product is suitable for all skin types, and it's high in antioxidants, glycolic acid, and vitamin C. For anyone interested in trying any of these products, the company has sent me their coupon code, which I will put in the description box below this video. I believe it's good till October the 15th, and I think it's for 10% off their products. Those are the five new things I have gotten the past several weeks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye-bye from Marla.